Hello my soccer universe, welcome to the La Liga jersey review, this time we'll do a rapid fire edition for the season 23-24 as I've been doing for all the other leagues where I've already published the reviews here, which means we're going from worst jersey to best jersey, we also will uh, dish out the usual grades from 1 to 10, 1 being the worst, 10 being the best. I can tell you already there will be no 1 star and there's also no 10 star jerseys. And actually, I think La Liga jerseys this season are relatively solid. There are some really nice ones in there, but from the grade there's also nothing really, really bad and nothing really, really outstanding either, at least according to my opinion. And that's what we're talking about in this video. This is my opinion. Definitely would like to hear your opinion. I also find La Liga kind of interesting. Uh, if you look at the suppliers, there's actually quite some Adidas in there. There's not something like that, that we've seen so far in many other leagues. And there's uh, quite an eclectic mix of brands in there. Very few um, Spanish brands, which is also rather unusual, I would say. Um, I'm also very happy that on the background I managed to not put any of the two big teams in there. I can put a Spanish background without Real Madrid, without Barcelona. And we have Atletico Madrid here, but I'm hiding them because actually, if you only focus on the, on the big teams, you're actually missing out on all the greatness that is La Liga football. I would say. As always, all the pictures in this video have been taken from Football Kit Archive and I think this is purely Football Kit Archive in this video. And I would say, let's get started. As I said, two star is the lowest grade that I give out and the little jersey I like least is this Getafe jersey. Uh, I get Spanish flag colors, brush stroke effect, but on a cross design and all the ways up and then everything kind of centered, the homo logo especially riding high, the color not looking good. It's not a great jersey. The next one may surprise you, but I really hate the Barca home jersey with a vengeance. Um, I think the striping, they got absolutely right, even the colors, but what they do with the shoulders and then the sleeves that just look grafted on, it just is such an odd, absolutely awful look and it doesn't help if you put a Rolling Stones logo on there. In fact, I think it doesn't even jive very, very, very well with the overall look of the shirt. Or uh, for the last one, the uh, Carol G is probably a little bit better. It just does not save this being from a not great Barca shirt kind of fitting with their season. Three stars, Villarreal third. For a Villarreal jersey, this color combination is completely off. I mean, if the shoulders were yellow instead of pink, I think I would get this a whole lot more. Uh, the Real Sociedad fourth jersey, I think we had this already last season. It's an orange Macron shirt with a Real Sociedad crest slapped on. Doesn't do much for me, honestly. Uh, and then the Mallorca third, I think the colors are kind of nice-ish but you see the crest doesn't fit now. This is really, again, template jersey, crest slaps, slap down. They really don't like that all that much. And Four stars, uh, the Villarreal away. This is very similar to the Getafe. It's just that I think the over jersey is a little bit more, a little bit better, not as messy. It's still, I don't like the collar, especially the yellow stuff on, on, on the collar. I don't understand why the sleeves are in a different color than the main body. Uh, I like the Spanish flag sleeve because that's probably something that lifts it up. So get off a third. I mean, this one looks better because it's tone in tone. I still am not a fond of gray jerseys. Homo logo again, high up the boxed off collar, weird. The Atletico Madrid third jersey in green. <sighs> it's one that I still I cannot get really on board with it. Let, let, let's put it that way. It looks weird to me. Um, I also think the Girona third, uh, I don't like, I mean, the colors I think are nice, but I wouldn't, instead of having this khaki green, a little bit of a fuller dark green would make this a greater jersey. Um, not being, these are not colors that I enjoy. Uh, the Rayo third, yeah, <laughs> I love the lightning bolt, but this season, as we'll see, they're not that great. Maybe the black sleeve colors are good, but the gold, Come on, come on, at least give us a red jersey. Uh, jer and I, I also don't find the tail on the, on the bottom and the way the color is constructed, it's all a little bit off, to be honest. And then we have the jersey that I'm wearing, the Girona home. 
I think my biggest gripe with this one is the inconsistent striping. Other than that, I really like the blue collar and uh, you know the blue accents. Yeah. I think it is safe, but if I look at this like an Ajax look with three accent striping, this makes it look better than if I look at the red and white striped jersey. I, I gotta be honest with that. It's just that striping is a little bit off, especially the thin sand, sand, sand and stripe. Uh, in the five star jerseys, we see a better version of this template. I think Alaves does it a bit better by blue is the main color. And then, yes, still the center stripe is a little bit off, but I think this looks a whole lot more consistent than the Girona jersey does. Although I, th I like that there's a third color added in for Girona. Uh, the bars are third. <sighs> it's, it's pyjama quality. And I don't like the specs here, uh, the crest, oh, yeah, we, I know we are in the age of monochromatic crests, which is, I just don't like it, I just don't, don't like it. Uh, same thing, the Almeria weight is great, I mean, there's an interesting pad pattern, but the grey, I mean, the lime green, that does something, it's just not jiving for me, let's put it that way. Then we have the Getafe home, uh, I think in blue, this saves it a whole lot, again, home logo way too uh, high the color da, 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 but at least it is blue so it is only half bad i would say so this is a decent jersey overall uh also sooner third is a template that we've seen quite a lot if you followed my reviews um i think it's all right i think the green since there's a bus country is close by makes kind of sense and also there's some forests in there so in that sense it makes sense okay. same template here and we'll see this a few more times uh now in the la liga review for granada i actually think this golden uh, it's not very granada but uh this golden color i think this works quite well it looks like fields cut from above uh, i think it would fit more around here in austria uh than probably in granada but i think there's something there i i think even the sponsor doesn't really detract from this. The Almeria third, I like the color scheme. I don't know what this pattern is supposed to be. It's very prominent. Just miss a little bit uh, connection with the club's colors again. Mo at least monochromatic crest makes it tone and tone, but it doesn't feel like an Almeria jersey to me. Valencia third is very much Valencia. Valencia should have an orange jersey, you know, as being the land of the, or the, the, the oranges. And I even couldn't make out that the pattern on there's maybe something with sliced oranges or whatever. Um, it just, it's just orange and then a little bit of navy blue thrown in. The craze is almost an afterthought. I think this is what bugs me with that particular jersey. Uh, the Barca away. I have been clamoring for a white Barca jersey and I know this is very contentious uh, because you know Real Madrid but Barcelona used to have white away jerseys up until the 70s even in the Johan Cruyff era especially. I love that they put the old style crest on that. This crest is much better than the current, the, the current one. But then the jersey itself is so lame. I mean, there's just the sleeve cuffs. It's, it's just one red, majority red. If you look at it, I mean, the bottom is probably, probably blue. So uh, it doesn't add anything special to it. Uh, the Rayo home, I love the lightning bolt uh, pattern. And I really want to have one of these jerseys. The last three seasons, they always had the lightning bolt. I think this is a great idea that Rayo had. Oh, the golden outline does not work. This needs to be black. Uh, Granada way, I told you we see this template a little bit uh, more. I honestly think if the shoulders were uh, also in the light blue color, this may look a little bit better, but I absolutely love, you know, we still have this goldenish color then with the, with the blue, makes it look really, 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 really nice overall. Uh, the Osasuna away, I, I like the light blue with the Osasuna, in conjunction with the Osasuna crest. I think this is actually quite a nice idea uh, and fits, it also provides enough contrast to the Osasuna home shirt that we'll see relatively soon. Uh, the Girona away, this is the one they wore when they won at the Montjuic against Barca. Um, it is the best Girona jersey, but given that it's still only a five star, tells you also a story. It is not a great jersey or it doesn't feel Girona to me. Uh, you know, it's a light blue and the dot pattern on there. Okay, it's nice, it's cute. The uh, Mallorca Home, uh, Nike Temp template, but I do like the horizontal pinstripes on, on, on there. I at least in this picture, it looks like a shoulder a little bit lighter than the main body. Uh, so the shoulders are more the color of the pinstripes, which I think is a little, a little bit of the darker color would make better there. But you know, it's it's a Mallorca jersey. Probably a little bit more black would have worked with it. Uh, the Barcelona fourth, I like the yellow and then, you know, the flag across. Not so sold on the centered crest and then the Nike swooshes on the shoulders. 
It looks a little bit too much knockoffish, but here at least the sleeve cuffs do something. This is this on the white jersey would make the white jersey a little bit better. The Bilbao home Castori took over uh, Athletic Club, and while this is probably a much loved jersey, yeah, winning the cup really helps on this on, on this one. The irregular striping again. If Girona would have done something like this. Uh, I guess I would be kind of okay, but I still think it should be equal with stripes. Just the Las Palmas third by Hummel is a really, you know, you have the striped one and there are loads of logos on there. And these are the logos of the teams that ended up making uh, Las Palmas. I think it's a total of five. They're all in, 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 in the crest. So a nice uh, touch there, but also makes it look a little bit too messy overall. Don't you think? At least that's my uh, opinion. And then also the Valencia home. I love the um, color on this one, although it's a little bit weird the way it's taped down on the back. I'm just not so sure about the beige accent color. Not my favorite. It's also a color that I, I, I don't like all that, that much. And it's this, although it's a Valencia home jersey, the crest looks like slapped onto this one. And that's not a good thing if you can say that about a home jersey. Six stars. Also Suna home. Interesting Adidas template pattern with some gradient effect in there. However, it's Osasuna as Osasuna is going to be. There. Uh, they rarely have something really e e exciting, but it's also not bad. So I think six stars and right in the middle of this uh, countdown or roughly the middle is probably the right uh, way to go. The Almeria home, yes, a red and white strip just with equal striping and also the striping going on the sleeves and on the top. It's just a sponsor kind of takes it down. Maybe a little bit more work on the collar, but it's not a bad one. The Sevilla away, we saw it already in a Champions League jersey review. Hmm, gotta say, um, the swirly pattern, not doing it for me, although I overall like the idea of having some golden accents on a Sevilla jersey. The Valencia away, the Irisian crest is really cool. This has some kind of a night uh, time effect effect on it you know the, uh, the the greenish blue and then the light light blue i like the overall color scheme of this one quite some the sponsor maybe is a little bit of an eyesore uh the bilbao third looks like a severe jersey a better version of a severe jersey uh if i see look at last seasons but you know it kind of makes sense to have this one as well what didn't make sense is that they wore this at uh, bernabeu i like the mallorca away the <laughs> Yes, there's majority gray, but I really like that they have the black and a little bit of red. And there's a very strong uh, look. I even like the golden uh, crest, although, you know, could have lifted a normal crest. So I think this looks really, really nice overall. Uh, and then we also have to bet this home. It's not bad uh, effort by Hummel. It's just I think that they're doing a little bit too much in the stripes. And um, I feel there could be a little bit more and maybe a, t a touch more green somehow and if the sleeves were striped i don't know i don't know uh seven stars mallorca special jersey oddly i love this one i know this is some lava cracking through or whatever but i think it fits so well with the crest i think this is overall a really 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 cool shirt so uh probably this is my favorite mallorca jersey here so credit to them i also like the rayo away um again I wonder if the outline in white might have worked a bit better, but I think here the golden on the black, you know, the gold is a little bit limited. I still wish the sleeve cuffs were reversed. It is majority red with a little bit gold and maybe a red tail, although then it takes away from from sash. The one thing I could could have been golden that didn't do golden. It's the Umbro logo. So go figure. Uh, the Cadiz third, I think it's a very pleasing color scheme. Overall, the green with with the gold, it's just not very Cadiz and it's very very simple but I think it's a very pleasing jersey overall uh, same thing for the Granada home very simple Adidas template but you know I like the hooping I actually think the sponsor adds a little bit because the uh, the blue is exactly uh, this is one with blue pants I think this does add something uh, to the overall tone I also like it the white is a little bit more cream color than a proper white so I think this is not a bad jersey overall uh, the Celta way similar template that we had for Forest I like it I mean this is essentially season you see the sponsor very subdued uh, usually the like Alicia is like plastered all over um, I also like you know you have the centenary and the nary crest and then uh, the red from the crest and then with some light blue I think this is a very good color combination uh, the Real Madrid third black with gray uh, I think what I, I don't like is that the crest is a little bit devalued overall 
this could have been done better. It looks like a little a poor photocopy in, in a way. Other than that, you know, black Real Madrid shirt always looks kind of good. Uh, the bet is away in green. It's a almost classic Hummel effort. It gives me definitely the um, retro vibes in a way. So for that, I like it. Although I wish maybe a, t a touch more white. Not just green, 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 green. But you know, it's an away jersey. So I guess it's the home jersey more white kind of makes sense. Uh, the Las Palmas away has a map below the crest and over the Gran Canaria. Uh, it makes sense to have it this way. I probably would prefer the navy blue over black though. Uh, the Atletico fourth. I don't remember really seeing this one, but I like the colors. Maybe the one thing is why is this so dark, dark, dark here uh, around the color, but overall this looks really cool. And then the crest on it, actually it elevates the crest. I like this one. I like uh, athletic jerseys in uh, dark blue, to be honest with you. Um, the Sevilla third, there's an interesting pattern there, which I think takes it just above the athletic jersey. Maybe the pink, da, 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 doesn't, but you know, there's some interesting architectural pattern on there that I do enjoy here. The Las Palmas home, I think here Homo is doing a great effort. You have a nice pattern in there. It is uh, yellow with a touch of blue. I think it actually looks quite nice uh, without it being spectacular. But the anniversary jersey for Athletic Club, um, honestly, when I saw this, the, the anniversary jersey, I was a little bit disappointed. However, I think the colors fit quite nice. So uh, that's why it ranks relatively high. Cadiz away. Um, if you look at this one, I mean, it's black and gold, but there, um, there's a pattern on there. It's like Cadiz Chris uh, stacked on top of, of each other. I really like this playfulness. And gold with Cadiz being more yellow, I think this works quite well. Uh, the Atletico away jersey. Um, it's an homage to the original, you know, Atletico Aviación. I wish that the shoulders would be also half and half. I think that's the only thing that I would add would make this jersey better. But other than that, I think this is a really cool one. I like the old style crest. They did something nice here. Although they did something nice for the Real Sociedad home. The only thing is the sponsor in too much color. You know, when we saw the Champions League jersey review, there was no sponsor, which made it look better. But this Yasuda sponsor honestly takes it a little bit down. But I really like to have a local art artist with the kind of 3D effect. Uh, the stripes are columns that are kind of twisted. I think there's something there. Maybe the color looks a little bit off. And then the Bilbao away jersey. Um, at first, hmm, yeah, but there are tons of lions on there. Isn't that cool? Makes it instantly cooler though. Give me some red. Please give me some red on this one. Uh, Via Real Home. This one has been rising in my count. And yes, the sleeve cuffs are off, but I overall this is very well composed. Uh, I like the you know, typically Via Real, and then you have uh, the uh, navy collar with the triangle. I think this looks quite nice. Oh. Bet is third. I think it's the uh, best regular bet this shirt they had I will have is what Hummel has has been doing I take in 86 Denmark time tablet and really for here's the uh, grayish version with a little bit of green but it works really well I have to say so therefore it is pretty high we're at the eight star jerseys <sighs> Now that I'm doing the countdown, uh, I have rated this A star in my Champions League jersey review. I really like that Atletico Madrid is back to a striped look, and I think that the red shoulders are not uh, are not a bad thing per se. Now that I've done the count and I'm doing it, I probably would have considered this one, but let's keep it at eight stars. I would have loved maybe striped shoulders, but you cannot do this with the temple. So with raglan sleeves, I think this is really nice. The Real Madrid fourth jerseys. I mean, the worst thing about that one is the horrendously uh, overpriced price. If you would like, uh, that's something I cannot say. But you know, it's again a Yamamoto design, so a fashion collaboration. You have the rose banner, you have purple. The crest, like for the black one, uh, is a, looks a little bit washed out. And again, the travesty was this was worn at home against Athletic Club, who didn't play in white. The Alaves away was also one. They were going back and forth, but <sighs> off center stripe. That's all I, can, all, all I can say. It also makes sense. These are the Basque colors and Alaves being uh, from Vitoria, the Basque capital. I think this is quite a nice and even the sponsor looks quite uh, good. The Real Away, um, not sold on the pattern, but other than it's a really cool shirt, especially because the stripes on the shoulders are in three colors, which elevate it definitely. I think a navy blue with yellow Real Madrid shirt is just 
you typically works and so that's why I do like this quite a bit. Uh, the Sevilla home, oddly enough I cannot fault it for anything, maybe for the faux color but I think there's something there that makes it quite good looking so it rates quite high in this countdown. I love the Cadiz home. Uh, it is yellow, but I absolutely love the shoulders with the Macron uh, pad, 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 pad on the beach, which of course is a little bit Puma uh, related. I love this retro feel that this jersey gives me for that reason. Yeah, that's one I think I would like to have. Real Madrid home. My biggest gripe with that one are the dark blue shoulder patches on the back. Other than that, the color scheme is wonderful. It fits with the crest, it total, totally, the accent colors are both take, taken from, from, from the crest. It just feels Real Madrid. Cadiz Special, another great Cadiz shirt. They are doing really well, it's kind of the maritime history. You see the waves going all over. Yes, it's an artsy shirt, but it's a really good looking one. Maybe give him a touch of yellow because Cadiz, but other than that, really nice one. Real Sociedad, the third jersey. Um, takes the same idea from the home jersey but I think having it off center makes it really nice looking. Again the sponsor destroys it slightly but I love the color that's absolutely cool with the button, uh, the thick sleeve cuffs and then the pattern makes it nice. But I think that the away jersey is a little bit better although I think that the crest looks better on the third jersey because this is kind of a, neg a, a negative but in dark this is a really nice shirt. This is a really, 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 really nice shirt. Shame for a sponsor though, I have to say. Nine star. Betis special jersey. This is basically Hummel going back to the early 90s and taking a retro shirt and releasing a, re a retro shirt. What a wonderful shirt, even with the Expo 92 sponsor. Look at the old style crest, look at everything about this is retro. What's not to love? I actually had this for a long time as my favorite jersey, but then I was thinking, is it really my favorite? It's a little bit too retro, retro. because for a 90s jersey, I think it's almost a bit too, too messy, but I love that it's retro. So there's one jersey that I like better, and by now you can guess it, it's the Celta home jersey. What I love about this is that everything is tone in tone, it's just your blue Celta jersey. The only thing that sticks out is the crest, which is really nice, nicely done. Adidas logo is in light blue, the stripes are in light blue, the sleeve patches maybe, but they need, need it to be, and the sponsor also, like for the away jersey, it takes a step back. And that is really, really how you do a centenary jersey without it me being, you know, overly uh, retro feel. It is just a classic look. For that, I love it has been on my list for quite quite a while and I think for that reason I feel quite comfortable pulling this as my favorite La Liga jersey for this season. So there you go this is my ranking of all the La Liga jerseys for this season. Uh, yes I can see how this can be contentious at some point but you know I went through it I always felt it it's, I, it feels right to me and I decided on that one. Please let me know where you agree and disagree with me. What's your favorite jersey in here? What's your least favorite? That's what I would like to know. This is potentially also the last of these jersey reviews that I do, unless I could imagine two more. I've never done a Liga Portugal jersey review. I potentially could imagine doing ra one rapid fire one. Also, I've never done a Conference League jersey review. That could also be an interesting one. I may put a poll out to do any of these, but. Um, if we end it with La Liga, I think I'm fine for the season. I also would like to know from you whether you like these rapid fire reviews better than if I make like four part reviews or shall I go back to four part reviews, which yeah, I probably need to work out a little bit better. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to me if you want to see more. I'll talk to you soon about more things in my soccer universe. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye!